Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. I have with me Doug Peterson, and today we're making a classic cocktail. Classic. I think so. It's called the... Seabreeze. Seabreeze. Is that classic, right? Totally. It's in classic cocktail <laughs> books. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Boom! We're gonna do vodka. Not literally. Um, that's Divine. Uh, well, no. <laughs> that's the name of it, Divine. Yeah, it's, it's called Divine. Um, it's a great base vodka. So like Ciroc, if you will. Great base, distill it. Um, it's got grapes on the side. My friend here thinks it tastes a little bit like grappa. I would have to agree because it has that yeah, distilled has that grape. Uh, you like yeah. you like grappa, right? I do. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so we're gonna do an ounce and a half. Not for the No. Huh? I didn't know you liked grappa. And he's got the gene. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ounce and a half of vodka, half ounce of cranberry juice. So right there, you're like, oh, 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 Cosmo. No, my friends. Grapefruit juice. We're using ruby red grapefruit juice, 100, percent because that's really? what I got. I thought it was gonna be Chuck Testa. No. What? <laughs> so all I, I'm gonna have comments now. Thanks. Yep. Uh, so that's it. And what we're gonna do is shake them. We're gonna strain it. First time this week, we're using the shaker, right? No, we used it yesterday. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. I think we did. Ounce and a half. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, my nose! Oh! There we go. Now they're gonna be like, "Oh, you just touched your nose." Yes, I did. Um. What do we got? Cranberry juice here. Open that. We're gonna do. Oh, is this a fill? Yeah, top with grapefruit juice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our, our. What do you call this thing? Cran Cape Cotter? No. What is it called? It's cranberry juice. No, just just this right here. Yeah. Uh, Cape Cod. Cape Cod. It is. Yep. Okay. Boom! I really need to be conserving that ice because we have a crap load more episodes. Yeah. And. These guys see one. That was really loud. Uh, excuse me. I'll tell you right now. Taste gross. There, hold that. We need more ice. Up in the hizzy. All right. Now, he's gonna build that up. Now he's got his Cape Cotter. Nice, he's luxurious. much too. Big of a glass deck. Oh, you're gonna feel it. Doop. Good. All right. Sorry to doubt you. Give it a little stir. Done. That, my friends, is a sea breeze. Yeah. What do you think? Gonna be bad, right? Yep. Gonna yeah. taste like uh, dry. Grapefruit. No, I don't mind it, actually. You drank mine. Huh? You drank mine, didn't you? When I got it. Uh, in... Yeah, well, if. Okay. We've ordered this at a. Chinese restaurant. We've ordered this at a Chinese restaurant, American Chinese restaurant, right? For those in China. <laughs> yeah, not in China. I don't know if they could see this video show in China. I don't know. Um, and she didn't like it. When you order a Polynesian drink, right, there's there's two things you can do. You can either just say, I'll have a zombie head, or I'll have a walking dead, or I'll have, what's the real name of a drink? A screaming, ba a suffering bastard, something like that, right? If you just say, I'll have a suffering bastard, does that tell you anything about what's in the drink? My idea is I'm gonna suffer. Suffering bastard is pretty tasty. You order a sea breeze, I'm thinking, huh, oh, a sea breeze. It's like mm -hmm. relaxing, calming, maybe coconut or something. I don't know. And then she orders it and gets this, right? Yeah. She's like, oh, it's got cranberry juice. She no. hands it to me to finish. Grapefruit. Yeah. I like cranberry juice. Yeah, cranberry mm -hmm. juice. Grapefruit juice. Right when she gets that grapefruit taste, she just goes and slides over to my side <laughs> and takes my drink. Yep. <laughs> I didn't take your drink. I might, well, yeah, you did, didn't you? Or, Why didn't you drink your drink? She doesn't want to. I'm not gonna order a drink that has cranberry juice at a bar and not drink it. Grapefruit. Not it. Grapefruit. I'm, if it's got grapefruit, I don't care how much of a non-fan I am. It's it's gonna be consumed. Because we paid eight bucks for it right. or whatever it was. That's a good question of the day number one. If you order a drink and you dislike it and you go, oh, you know what? That's my bad. I should have asked what the ingredients are. Do you finish it? Damn straight you do. Yeah, you do. If you don't, well, I mean, okay. I can tell you exactly what her mom it's would like do. A her mom would be like, ah. No, not good. And they, oh, they'll take it back. I just can't do that. Unless it's poorly made. Well, like yeah. that time when I ordered a, 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 whiskey, a sour. whiskey sour and it was rum. Right? That goes back. Because I want whiskey in my whiskey sour. Yeah, I don't know why. Right. Actually, I ordered something completely. One of the very few times that I've, that I've literally considered sending a drink back. Ordered a Gibson. They're like... Yeah, we didn't have any cocktail onions, so we just brought it, you know, with olives. 
So it's like, so difference. maybe I could have changed my mind. <laughs> and so oh, that's actually a good idea. It, they should have said, if okay, if you ordered. You, you order a specific drink. And they don't and, have it. And, and they don't have that. You come back and say, and then get my approval. And I'll right. feel a little bit better about saying, ah, oh, yeah, okay. just go ahead and throw some all of it. Okay, let's apply that to food. If you said, I want veal parmesan, and they come back and go, sorry, we didn't have veal. So we're going to, we gave you chicken. Chicken, yeah. Are you going to be like, uh, okay, but veal's expensive. Yeah. So. And chicken's right. not. So right. what are you going to do? No, you go and say, sorry, madam, sir, whatever, we're out of, you know, the, the kitchen's out of veal. Yep. Is there something else I can get you? Then yep. I might opt for chicken or change my mind. But if you yep. don't ask me, you could not bring me no. chicken. No. The same way you shouldn't be able to put olives in my onions. <laughs> it should never happen. That's what I'm saying. But if you order a drink and you don't know it has cranberry juice. Did you juice, send it back? No, I dealt with it. <laughs> what? Because honestly, I would have been like, yeah, that's fine. I, I would have I would have rolled with so the, you would have just said oh so a dry martini okay yeah exactly exactly but it's one of those you know I'm right. here for the experience of dining in your establishment help me <laughs> help you enjoy the My experience stadium. right don't Allowing kick me in the nuts me. and tell me it's raining yeah right yeah I don't like that no, no. so. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You know now, what it tastes like? This is actually probably grape better grape. than a real sea breeze because it's like grapefruit juice. Yeah, but this Pretty would be much. yellow, right? Normally? What color is grapefruit? Is it yellow? Yeah, yellow. Or is it pink? It's it's pinkish. Click. So this might be a little different if you don't use ruby red. Uh, I'll probably get some flack for that because this is classic and they're probably gonna be like, you need to use pink grapefruit juice. You did it all wrong. I'm sorry. If anything, that might have actually saved it a little bit because it's probably a little bit sweeter. sweeter. Yeah, because yeah. it's got a couple combined other it's juices. It's got the grape, because grape in a juice, Polynesian it's restaurant. got the apple juice, and it's got the carrot juice. Sorry. Well, the you, are you talking to live stream <laughs> over us and we can't, yes. and nobody else can so see uh, it? They said, why would, why would you order a drink if you didn't know what was in it? Oh, people, because it's Polynesian restaurants, you don't know what's in it. They no, just have these names. You could ask. They yeah, don't you could, know. but they don't always know either. No, they're no. like, uh, let me uh, check. Yeah. yeah, it has um lemon and vodka, and a lot of times at this Chinese restaurant we go to, we get She's a person bad. who does not speak English. It, it's like one of those places where okay, question it's an next, American Chinese restaurant. Next but question. It's authentic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. Question two, or is this three? Do have you do you go to a restaurant that you can you don't like the server, you always get the same server you don't like, but you continue to go because A it's the only place around that has that type of food, or B it's good food and you can well, wave Well it's good Chinese food. Yeah, you can wave the fact that the waitress is much better than the Nanking. Not Street. mean. Just completely clueless and sometimes I didn't come back. It, <laughs> other than that, it's fine. That's one of those questions where it ultimately depends on what you want to get out of your dining experience. experience right. do, do you want good food? Generally, yes. Right. Do you want good service? Usually, yes. If the food yes. is, eh, but the service is really good, you know, and they, they're a little bit accommodating, eh, you know, yeah. it, it balances. But if the food is great and the service is, eh, you deal with it. Right. Know what you do? Tell you right now. You eat there and you yelp that shit. You go out there and you type up a review and you're like, great food, giving it three stars. Why? Because the waitress didn't come back, she peed my food, blah, blah, whatever it is. And then... <laughs> Yeah, the food's great, except for they urinated <laughs> Well, you know, you, you explain the difficulties you had at the place. She didn't refill my... You know what's the one that bothers me? When no. they don't refill your drinks. Whatever. Right? Especially if they're cocktails. And you're like, dude, I, you may make it such a big tip if you just came back and asked me for another drink. See, yeah. that's a good point. Chad yeah. said it would... If the service... If the food is good, but the service is bad, they just don't get as good a tip. This is true. Which is true. Yeah. That is how you pay them back. By not paying them back, unless you're in Europe, and they don't tip, at least in Germany. And that gets awkward in the conversation with the waitress when they're here. In America. With yeah. regard to Yelp, if the food is really good, like Yelp it. Really good. Four stars. I, oh. would I would never drop I would never drop something to three star based on service. That's a wise move. Uh, uh, Scotland never, is weird about tipping too. Never never huh? on service. Scotland is weird about tipping too. Yeah. Oh yeah. According to the chat. Scotland, yeah. T yeah. Tipping in England, I know they they know that. Oh, you're from mostly, America. Why wow, you're it's, tipping? It's based in. Yeah. yeah. It's it's it's. Base ten. I, it's <laughs> binary. <laughs> Zero one. You can give them nothing or a penny. <laughs> oh, but two pennies equals three pennies. I meant to say built in. Oh. But two pennies equals three pennies in base ten. Whatever. Anyway. 
EverydayDrinkers.com. We're done. Have another sip of that. But you don't want it. Nope. But we're still teaching you how to drink. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Sober. Did you just touch me? <laughs> you touched me. Sorry, I put my hand down. <laughs> it was almost like balls. No homo. Uh, <laughs> today. Could we do that over? Okay.